join kids hat family Tofu please finish your breakfast first No I want to play first I don't like it anyway Tofu it is not nice to leave your food like that You should be thankful to your food and eat it respectfully The first Thanksgiving This is a very old story. It is from the year 1620 when a group of pilgrims came from Europe in a ship called the Mayflower to the east coast of United States. We have reached this new land and we shall make it our home now. Let us call it Plymouth. Yes. And this big rock by which Plymouth is recognized will be called the Plymouth Rock. We shall make a settlement here. And so the pilgrims got busy trying to make a settlement in their new home. but they had arrived in the peak of winter with little resources and no food oh this is such a difficult winter we have almost no food the men go and catch whatever fish they can find in the freezing lakes but it is not always enough yes and a sickness has taken over our people We have lost so many strong men and women already. It is very difficult without proper food and supplies to take care of them. Yes. Look at what happened to our brother James Chilton and his wife. They've both died leaving behind little Mary Chilton. Poor Mary. She's only 13 years old, but without her mother and father to take care of her, we will have to make sure she is safe. And so Mary was taken under the care of all other pilgrims. But it was a hard sickness and people died from extreme cold, lack of food, and the sickness that had come over this settlement this meant mary had to work hard many of the older women amongst the pilgrims had died and the remaining work had to be shared by everyone Mary took care of cooking and laundry for the men and boys whose wives or mothers had died. Then one day in March two strangers called Samoset and Squanto visited the settlement they were native indians who lived on the land hello settlers welcome to your new home thank you who are you i am samoset i am the leader of the abenaki people and this is squanto from the wampanoag tribe hello samoset and squanto How is it that you speak such good English? I have had experience with other settlers who know English. We see that we are having trouble with food. Squanto here can teach you how to grow food on this soil. 
and so the pilgrims made new friends and learned how to grow food in their new home. They learned that using fish as fertilizers will help their crops grow better. With the help of Squanto and the other people of his tribe, the pilgrims grew a healthy crop of beans, pumpkins and corns. To celebrate the harvest, the pilgrims invited King Massasoit of the Wampanoag tribe to the feast. King Massasoit's men helped the settlers hunt for the feast and large feast of corn, roasted meat, pie, fruits was laid. The pilgrims dedicated this day to getting together with friends and family and thanking God for the abundance of good food. and loving people in our lives. I get it now, Tia. We should be thankful for the abundance of food we have. I shall respectfully eat whatever is served to me. That is so wonderful, Tofu. I am proud of you. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.